here I am. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. So what is going on out there? Yeah, he went, he took, um, what was it he took? Can't remember. Because he went in there and took some stuff. But he took some stuff and then went, went to bed. So I'll try to, I got my door shut. So I'm hoping I don't keep him awake or anything. So, but intense promo. Hey, it's yoga, but. <laughs> I ain't spaced out, man. It's happening. <laughs> it don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh up in here, up in here. Okay, Yorga. There it is, baby. Hit that link. Hi, Jessica. How are you? How are you? So, but Yorga grabbed the link. Come on up. But yeah, he, I'm hoping he gets to feeling better. I really am. Because he don't want the air on. I got the air back on. He told me to turn it back on. He was feeling hot. So I'm hoping that the fever's breaking because he's been cold. Yeah, that ain't working out too well. I'm hot. He's cold. So. But, yep. Let me answer her. I text Christina like she told me to. I told her, get your butt up. So. But anyway, so, so, yeah, I'm telling you, since he's had this fever and stuff, he's been like, um, yeah, that chill fever thing. That's what he's been getting and everything. So, oh, here we go. Hey, Crystal. Hello. Hello. Hey, Mimo. Mimo's in the house. Hey, Mimo. Get your arse up here, Yorga. <laughs> Get your ass up him. <laughs> I ain't seen him in a while. Oh, I know he's nuts. I messaged Christina to wake her ass up. It's like that's all right. Jeremy'll get her up. <laughs> He'll call her and say, "Get up." <laughs> yep. Laura will be hopping on in a minute with us. She's letting me know. So. Hey, everybody in chat. Love you. Yeah, I'm being fashion bloomed late. Man, Yorga, you told me you was going to come naked. So we're here. Come um, on. I'm going off your channel. <laughs> I don't want nightmares. <laughs> He's the one that said, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be naked at 11. <laughs> I'm glad I went to church with my neighbor this morning. <laughs> oh, my lordy. So how you doing? I'm Ms. doing. <coughs> Some days are better than others. Yeah. <coughs> I still got that bracelet you wanted back here. So you can get with me whenever you want. Yeah, I called out Yorga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I got home, I found out they turned my lights off. Put a lock on my gas. My somehow my uh, laptop broke. Only had three hundred dollars, and my rent's three hundred and sixty dollars. Oh. So my rent man let me slide. Told me to go get my tire turned back on. And my best friend's mom gave me a computer. And the my friends next door out of the blue come over and gave me a hundred dollars so thank god <laughs> there you go friends. Oh, hey shift <laughs> yorga said hi hey, shift. shift shifts in chat <laughs> yeah i'm that darn christine i'm gonna message her again i ask her where the hell she's at she's supposed to been up here with me too her and York is being fashionably late. And I know Jeremy can't hop on until he gets home from work. So it's like these crazy people. Now look, I'll, te I'll text her again. 
I want to ask her where her arse is. <laughs> Yorga said she's snapping. Yeah, I know. She told me to, to, I know. She told me to wake her up. And I, I've been trying. She seems to, I think she, when she sleeps, she must sleep hard. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Christina Park felt, well, I know she was going to take a nap from earlier, but she said 30 minutes before, start messaging me. So I did. So, so we're going to summons Christina. <laughs> Christina to the office, please. Christina to the office, please. <laughs> Rub the bottle and maybe a genie will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, somebody snoring and drooling on the pillow. Do I what it do? Yeah, Miss Christina, I've been trying to wake her up. She told me to wake her up. Go get her, tell her, wake her up, wake her up, Jerry. <laughs> hey, Laura. Laura's in the house too. Hey, we got a good crew coming in. We got the crew all up in here, up in here. So, well, I'm gonna start off with a little rant. How about that? Go ahead. All right. Tell it, sister. But this is going to be a different kind of rant because we are going to do this with nouns tonight. So, and we, he said, like, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave the building. <laughs> Damn it, or Yeah, right. She's sleeping. I know she's sleeping, y'all. Gotta wake her up. Christina, report to the office. <laughs> so, <laughs> You sure Start you didn't put her in timeout? <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. Okay, I love the rant. Yeah, okay. I can't remember the name of the face. Daggone it. Uh, okay, but anyway. A noun means a person, place, or thing. Right? Mm -hmm. well, we're going to start off with a noun person. Okay? There's a noun person out there in this YouTube world. And I'm trying to remember the name of the face that she has. And it's going to drive me nuts. But anyway, every so often, it's, oh, uh, oh, yeah, like that. She could turn the tears on and off quicker than you could flush the toilet and it fills back up. Oh my God. Quicker than you could turn off your shower and it stopped dripping. That sounds like my bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talking about you. I know. I just said it sounds like my bipolar. <laughs> Who can go to zero to 60 real quick? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe that's what they have. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's no medical advice here tonight. There's nothing, man. Crisis actors. Yes. Yes. Memo crying all the time. Yes. Yes. Laura says she has no clue. She's like, lie like a rock. <laughs> Crystal, Memo has said this about this noun person. Mm hmm. You know, we're going to renounce tonight. I might throw in some verbs, which is action words. So we might have some, yeah. <laughs> we might have a few adjectives. <laughs> but the lesson tonight is let's just all clump them together, okay? <laughs> we'll do it all. So or cries all the time, you know, and all that, right? So, hello, Jessica Gang. How are you, my friend? So it's. It's class has to come down. They're cracking me up in chat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me get my face back on. So it's. Oh. And then it's. They're off. They are off so quick. I, I can't. I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny in a way when you sit back. But you always make sure you got plenty of tissue. <laughs> When the person noun comes on. 
All right. Now, person noun also, you can't wake her up. I can't either. Person also has distinctive facial things that they do. And one of them famous facial phrases, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura, damn, now I need Kleenex. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Well, I got paper towels. We got toilet paper. We got anything you need to wipe your snotty nose. <laughs> Boo fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm reading chat. They're cracking me up. I go and cry into coffee filters. <laughs> All right. One of the faces is this. I'm sorry. But I think person nouns a little too old to be doing that. What do you think about them kind of lips? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is duck lips. To me, it looks more like ass lips. <laughs> Fuck the duck lips. It's ass lips. It looks like they've been puckered up kissing ass. <laughs> so now we have ass lips. <laughs> Grab your pair today. <laughs> no, I got too much ass. I don't mean no more. <laughs> Jessica, Andy's sick, hon. He's in bed. He's been sick since Friday. Hello. So, yeah, he's been sick since Friday. He found a little, he feels a little better off and on. It comes and goes. But, but, but that's it. Shift kicker, I love it. Babu, no. okay. Then, when they get upset and they do, the person now takes and takes the verb and it turns into a rant live. Okay, but they're only up for a little bit, then they're gone. Me? I ain't taking damn thing down. <laughs> I say it, I say it. <laughs> if you think it's about you, then honey, buy all them shoes in that color, lace them bitches up, and wear them. Amen. <laughs> Resting bitch face. Thank you. That is the name of the face that's constantly on the person and the noun person. Resting bitch face. <laughs> I cannot take credit for resting bitch face. I cannot take credit because it was told to me and I loved it and I said I'd say it. So, so. thank you for the reminder, Mimo. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the damn name of it. So we have a resting bitch face. It's a noun. It's a person. She must have missed it when I said I didn't see it. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, little Meemaw's daughter came up with that. <laughs> yeah, well, thank your sister, Richard, for that. Yes. So I have resting bitch face. With duck lips. Does she have a tattoo or an egg? <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to put this up here, Crystal. I have no idea who you were talking about. Does she have a tattoo or her neck? I have a rest bitch face big time. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're out there, bud. <laughs> I love you, but you're out there. <laughs> okay. Said noun person also talks out of this side, but really spews the shit out on this side. That's my rant on my noun person. Now the now the place of a noun it's gonna be up there in that place that that's a swamp pool and y'all know what i'm talking about yep yeah so that's a place <laughs> left spew 
You guys are cracking me up. I'm trying to keep my focus here now. We're teaching nouns. We're on nouns right now. I'm They're sorry. Doing... I'm not going to remember. I'm totally high. <laughs> so you're singing because I got high? Because I got high. Yeah, Coke 45 and two zigzags. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I, maybe I'm feeling a little special fuzzy, too. I don't drink beer, but do the other. I ain't drink. Well, I got I got cream soda. <laughs> Person, place, or thing. Yeah. Now, the next place. We all know what the place is. I gave you an example. I gave you an example of a person. And, what, and they did some action, so they had some verbs in there. So, we're doing good. <laughs> we're doing good. Now, for the thing, I'm going to leave that up to y'all to figure out. Because <laughs> if, I, if I give you a thing, forget it. <laughs> <coughs> but, no, in all seriousness, I had to have a little fun. But in all seriousness, um, there is just so much that you can see sitting back watching. It's... It's been mind-boggling lately. <coughs> yep. This, this person has to have... I'm telling you, you have to... It's one minute. They're licking... They got their left... They got your left ass cheek in their mouth. Kissing your ass. The next minute, they've got the, your, their foot and knife in, their, in your back and your ass. So... That's why I get to say what I want to say, I'm trying to be polite about it. But you can only be a bitch for so long till somebody comes along and slaps that bitch out of you. I've been a bitch all my life. Well, I'm an, <laughs> I'm the good I'm the good bitch of the East. I'm joking, and yes, it's probably because I got me a different computer. I got the same. I've got the same internet, but this is a different computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a Dell Chrome or something like that. Well, I'm glad it's working for you. Yeah. Uh, I can actually now, if I wanted to, make my own channel. There you go. Because I can type on my computer now. Look out. Crystal's going to be coming around the corner of the channel, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what were you over here doing? I'm wondering if she has mouth trouble. Spits out the light. I don't know, that could be. <laughs> Laura, I do love you. What did I do wrong? <laughs> it ain't you. Oh shit, I see the, the smiley faces. Girl, here, Laura. Her, she gets on here and makes a live about me. Oh, well, Laura, here. I got your tissue. <laughs> I was missing this. <laughs> Here, Laura, I got you. It's actually a paper towel, but it'd be all right. It'll absorb better because Bounty absorbs the best for deer. <laughs> so get Bounty today. I'm sorry, all you get with me is cheap shit, y'all. <laughs> Can't afford no Bounty. <laughs> yeah, well, Jessica Gang, yes. We're talking about our favorite company. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I wonder if she ever told me it was better to swallow her troubles. <laughs> Give her They're killing me. Well, I'll tell you. I don't know. But it wasn't about Crystal and her bipolar when she busted that out. I'm like, wait a minute, I ain't talking about you. I know you ain't talking about me. I'm just saying... Uh it sounds the crying, like person. If I'm doing the crying part, you mm -hmm. need to be out of my way because the first thing I'm going to grab is something heavy and it's going towards you. I, 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 I take medication and it keeps me to where I need to be. But mm -hmm. if you just hit that wrong button, I will black out and won't know what I'm doing. Well, when, when this person now excuse me, crying, <laughs> nine times out of ten, it's it's nothing that nobody done to her. 
to this person. Maybe our hormones are out of whack. <laughs> Maybe she needs the prescription, guys. Are you ready for the new prescription? It's called Try Dicks Again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she needs to go and get a prescription for Try Dicks Again. <laughs> I just, I'm, I don't care if I ever try a dick again. <laughs> I'm okay. Me and my two cats. I do, I'm over men. <laughs> well, I think, well, I'm thinking that that prescription would help that particular person. Oh. Uh, because that might kind of relax that bitch face. You yeah. Know, I'm that resting bitch face. It might relax like it, that. You know. Uh, they get tired of the same old noodle. <laughs> Well, the problem is, I don't think there's been any noodles served in a while. He sounds like my best friend. She had nothing in about eight years, and I tell her, you just need to go find you something. And get all that stress out of you. <laughs> Richard, I want to try the one where Robin Williams was talking about on stage. Fuck it all. That's it. <laughs> That's the other prescription we needed to prescribe. It's, it's fuck it all. What about acetal? You ain't got no acetal. <laughs> well, don't tell everybody about my problem. <laughs> don't tell my damn secrets out there about my. <laughs> Aladente, <laughs> yeah, Aladente, slap it, bam. <laughs> See if it's done. <laughs> oh my gosh, but yeah, we got. I, <laughs> how you doing, Daniel? I like that fucking tall. That was the other one I was thinking about. I was trying to lead into that one. Too. <laughs> so now you got your noun. We got the nouns going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we got damn adjectives and verbs. And <laughs> but yes, and don't forget, you have to get a supply of tissue or toilet paper or something. Because it's a very snotty nose. It's very snotty nose. Yes. Gonna have... ah, well, come on. You can come right on up. I'm not going to comply. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> and, well, it may not be snot, but I bet you that there's a lot of toilet paper, paper towels that gets door dashed. Yeah. I bet you. I'll be willing Please. to bet. She need to buy stock in it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm telling you. And, 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 and it's like I said, it's nothing. I'm not saying I'm just, I'll just say 98% of the time. It's nothing that, um, is that to come on and, uh, I don't know. I, I'm telling you that, that they need to try dicks again. They need that prescription. Try dicks again. I'm telling you. Well, why don't you write them a damn um, oh. how do you do on the doctor's paper and send it to them a prescription? <laughs> oh, it's the jester. Hey, hey, Jeremy. Jeremy. Christina must be sound asleep. I don't know. Where, she passed out. Mm hmm. She told me she's like, start getting a hold of me 30 minutes beforehand. Okay, I had. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> when, she get, when she goes to sleep, I think she just dies. She's done. She's out for the count. Oh, we have somebody else. Here we go. Uh oh. Hey, Joe. <laughs> oh, you're. <laughs> Bartender Betty Four Clinic. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the. I feel like I'm working for the police right now because these ladies are getting that getting out of hand. I tell you, they're getting out of hand. 
<laughs> getting out of hand. Getting out of hand. I know she got naked for you. See? Well, oh. yeah, but that was embarrassing, man. I've seen her naked before. So oh. why did you do that to me? <laughs> Because you said you was going to be naked. So she wanted to be naked. So y'all are naked. Uh, it's more than just romance. <laughs> well, at least she ain't got to take too much uh, care of her. She's only half of her. <laughs> well, that's you know, I, and I never have to hear her going, yip, 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 go, go out and take the trash, get, take the rubbish out. Mm -mm. Stun them by the neck. That's so, <laughs> all. I put a little corn down the their feeding tube, you know, twice a day. What's up, Daniel? <clears throat> oh my gosh. How you doing, Jeremy? That's Jeremy. I didn't even know you were here, man. Cool. Yeah. How you feeling? Yeah, how you feeling, man? A little better. A little I, better. I haven't passed it yet. Ouch. It'll be all right. Somebody or they can go in with the ultrasound and like explode those things and make them break them up. Nah, man, yeah. not with me. My body produces them too much, man. When I was like 24, 25, I had 36 in two. I had 18 in each kidney. Oh, my God. I had to go through four different surgeries. I had to go through two or three lipotripsies. And well, one lipotripsy didn't work, which is the ultrasonic sound, which you're talking about. So then they had to go through the tip of my man uh, manhood manually, put me to sleep, and blast them with a laser, and then pick them out, and then put a stent in, and then wait a week, and then I did the other kidney the next week, then wait another week, and did two more lithotripsies. Yikes. Dang. Yeah, my body produces too much calcium. Ah, uh, Daniel. Uh. <laughs> You're <laughs> Well, that's to make it even better. Hold on. I have my teeth. That's somewhere in there somewhere. I need too much calcium as I am old as I am. If I fall, I won't break apart. Oh. Break a fart. Wait break a fart. Oh, a part. I it sounded said like she said fart because I was like, what? Well, when I, I was like, like, you go ahead and bust ass, man. I do it all the time. I did, though, y'all. When I was up there for my sister's awake. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it. Now, friends of us uh, asked us over, and we had wings and stuff, and I didn't know it, and I walked out to the driveway, and it had a big-ass hole in it. One leg went in it, and the other went the other way, and then I went <laughs> into the service station uh, to look at uh, some um, the vape pipes, say the vape pens, so I could take it on the bus with me. <laughs> since I couldn't, found out I couldn't smoke it on there anyway. But I went behind the counter. He said, come behind the counter and I could look at him. And I I didn't know it was a step up and I face planted. Face oh, planted. no. Yeah. Damn. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Look, Yorga, yes. Ah. The bartender from Betty Ford Clinic looking like that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the women love me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Prefer the one of those cannon things that you put uh, the the ball down in it and you light it and it goes up and puts pretty colors. The um, sparkle light? Huh? A disco light? No, no, no. For like uh, fireworks where they go up and make pretty. Oh, a punk? That thing and you drop the ball down in it and it shoots it out. You mean a mortar? It's for Fourth Fourth of July. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah it went up in the air, and I was sitting on my bro uh, my brother's uh, concrete watching them, and one of them damn things fell right between my legs. Hell yeah. <laughs> right up the old. I bet you that was an, door, didn't it? I bet you that was an explosion. Well, I, I jumped up real quick. I jumped up real quick, and I told him, I said, well, if I, if I caught on fire, all y'all would have to do is just go out there and get a broom and screw, uh, sweep me up. You don't I even wish have somebody to could bring up that, that picture of, like, Hiroshima blowing up with a mushroom cloud. It'd be oh like, it'd be like damn, it, Grandpa, me. damn it, Grandpa used the microwave again. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to airbrush my, uh, the P47 here. 
Man, I'm looking at it. It looks really I freaking know. cool. I love it. I like the dark colors, man. That's cool as shit. No, I wish I you could put. A, I, I wish you could put an orange gray. tail on it. I already did the gray. See the yeah. gray's underneath already. Yeah, I don't want to add it much, up. but oh, all I've that looks great. Oh man, can you believe my dad used to fly one and things? Those planes are big as shit too, man. When you when you're standing next to one, it's a lot bigger than what you think, man. I mean, it was. I was like, holy hell. Right. Um, don't lay down. Here you go, Yorga. Is that what you would call hot lips? Your teeth and everything. Would that be hot lips? What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> somebody in chat was asking. Is that what you would call hot lips? <laughs> they said, well, all right, wait a minute. Let me look at chat. <clears throat> it's some hot lips, baby. <laughs> Is that what you would call hot lips? I don't know what I don't I don't get the it's Richard said that. I don't understand the content. The teeth you had in. You had the teeth and you kept coming up, so would that make hot lips? <coughs> well, it could. Yeah, if I bite your ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not him. When the fireworks landed in her lap. Oh, it's for you, Crystal. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. All right, oh, that makes way gosh. more sense. Yeah. What did he say now? Because he, I don't forgot what he said. He said... When the fireworks landed in your lap, is that what you would call hot lips? Yeah. Oh, it might be hot something else, but it wasn't near my lips. <laughs> Depends on which one you're talking about, baby. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> I know. That's what he was saying. <laughs> you got to get the joke, okay? <laughs> no. I got his daughter to go in and open the garage, and that's where I watched the rest of them from. Were they medium, medium well, or medium? Go ahead and just fry me up. Then they ain't got to worry about putting me in cremation. I'll already be done. Take a dust pan, sweep me up, and put me in there with my sister. <laughs> Starting with the Roman candle right up the coochie and all the way out. For the <laughs> oh At least I would go out in a bang. <laughs> go out in a bang, baby. Oh, my God. What do you think, Jerry? <laughs> Y'all some crazy motherfuckers, man. Are you, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, my gosh. Osborne gonna... said it was going to get crazy tonight, so it's getting crazy tonight. Yeah. Ain't it? Ride the damn rails off the crazy train. I'm ready. Yeah. I just wish Andy was feeling better. Yeah. I do, too. I wish he was, too. I miss his PVC pipe all yeah. day. Oh. Yeah, did you see that I hit me in the head? No, you told me about it, but I missed that part. <laughs> it's probably best that I'm not, you know, on the jury or something. You know? <laughs> Once that restraining order comes up. You, know, oh, yeah. you don't want any witnesses. You call a dick yeah. slap. <laughs> yeah, don't make me cry, Jeremy. I, I, with a piece of PVC pipe. I threw a, a I swear, that my only domestic abuse, I threw a a, a, a a roll of paper towels that were still in the plastic at my wife, and it hit her in the back, and it didn't even, it didn't even go pow, it went whoo, it just went whoo, and she dialed 911 and got the cops at my house. My husband is abusing me. <laughs> Here's paper of course, they separate us and everything, you know, and I'm like, I threw a pair of the paper towels are still laying in the kitchen floor. It's for evidence if you want to get fingerprints. And shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called 911. 991. Damn, husband is abusing me. That's all right. I ended up winning custody of the kids. I won on everything, man. So fuck that dog. There you go. There's there's one from Daniel. He's telling about the favorite word he learned from your guy. <laughs> from me? He was talking about a 70s horror movie. <laughs> it's a, what he's talking about is there's two movies called Count Yorga Vampire. <laughs> Night shift. Thanks for hopping on, baby doll. Bye, shift. Love you, sister. Later. He's lighter. Okay. So we are, we've been doing nouns tonight. Do you have any nouns that you would like to discuss? Him. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> There's a cool band called Kim. Hey, Jeremy, I gotta ask you a question. What do you have like a, a like a grill top that you're spraying on? Can this you hear me? Right here. This. Well, it's like a. It looks like a grill top or something. That you makes know what? a lot of sense. You know what this actually is? What? This is actually. One of the, uh, the, you know, like the soda fountain machines and everything, the, the grills that they have where you put your ice on and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I that's, know exactly what you're That's what this is. Our, we, when we got a new soda thing or whatever and everything, and we were like, well, here, don't you guys want these? And they're like, no, nah, we just throw them away anyway. So I was like, well, fuck that. I'm taking it. No, I wouldn't do that either because they're heavy duty and they're perfect for what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. You know, so. I mean, you could make a like a wood fire and throw that over there if you were like, you know, really doing the the uh, prepper thing. And, oh, I uh, have I have a, no, a couple of them outside. Yeah, right. and cook on them and shit too, man. Yeah, no, that's kick ass. Yeah. Your plane looks really good, man. Yeah, it's getting there. My fucking see, I've got to go to the hobby store and get another point uh, zero three needle because. Um, both of mine are now bent and that's what happened the other night. Well, not only my kidney, but the reason why when I was doing the painting the other night and all of a sudden it like started getting clogged up, it's cause there, there was a fucking, a, a bend in the needle and when oh, there's wow. a bend in the tip of the needle, when it comes back in and you push back out, when you pull back, the needle has a, it, it, instead of it being straight, it's hooked like this. So instead of the paint being able to flow out straight from the needle, it was sitting and catching and clogging up. You see and what it I'm spit. Saying? It probably spit some shit. Yeah, it wasn't spitting it out because instead of the needle being straight like this, it's uh -huh. curved like this. So the needle that I have in here right here now is a 0 .05, which is even smaller than a 0 .03. And, I mean, they make them, like, one or two sizes bigger and then, like, one or two sizes smaller. And um, it's it's just for detail work. Like, the smaller you go, the real thinner the uh, the brush stroke is, the, the thinner the spray is and everything. Uh, the, the fatter the number, the thicker the needle the more thicker paint and um, you can do which is called like candy, which is that's the paint that's got the glitter and all that shit through there. That's what, uh, but you need like a 1.4 or 1.5 for that one of them motherfuckers. You need like a real big one for that. Wow. It yes, takes a little while to get used to it and everything, but once you get used to it, you, uh, you can, uh, you can start doing pretty, Pretty Thing is sure. looking good. I wish that model was bigger. I really do. I'm sorry it's so tiny. But. Oh man, it's no problem, man. I I actually, it, it it doesn't really matter on the size for me for the model. I just enjoy doing them. You know what I mean? So yeah. Richard says his dad builds models. Do what? Hey. Richard said his dad builds models. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking. Hey, uh, Jeremy, I got a question. When you yeah. do the when you do the P40, are you going to do it the flying tiger? You put the tiger, the mouth on the front of it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to, whatever the decals are with it and everything, I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah, it might already have the decals for that shit. Yeah, I didn't think about that. In it already, yeah. I'm going to put the, the tiger mouth on there. I'm going to do the original, you know, the original fucking flying colors and all that shit. <laughs> it's like this. When I, when, I right. get done, when I get done with the green on the top here, I'm going to brush this green well these are supposed to be green underneath here but i don't know i might go with oily steel i haven't decided yet on what color i'm going to brush the bombs and the rockets um inside the circle here where the wheels go is bright yellow which is i'm going to paint bright yellow and then um i've got the wheels and the actual you know you know the fucking metal thing that the wheel goes on man it looks that looks so good man i'm going to paint all oh, that up and detail that shit and then Right around here on the front of the, uh, on the front of the, um, the very front panel, there's like a little, you can, I can see it, but the very front of this is supposed to have a bright red all the way around it. Yeah, and the cowling. Very, it's called the cowling. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to paint the bright red all the way on the round on that. And then I'm also going to paint the bright red on the very tip of the propeller too. Um, the engine kind of. Right. 
came off a little bit, but I can maneuver it back in there and get it in there. I ain't worried about I it. I wish you could put an orange tail on it, but you well, don't have. Well, Man. what I'm going to do is the decals have the actual checkerboards on them. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to I'm cool. going to I'm going to put the checkerboards on the top and the bottom, you know, I'm going to put the checkerboard and the the Hellcat right here on the front and the side or whatever it is. I'm going to decal it up, but I I am going to detail it and everything and, you know. Do you want to hear uh, a quick story about about those planes and, and my father get yeah, real quick. Um they they were fighter bombers. So they weren't just fighters. So they were really for <clears throat> coming in and blowing up tanks and trains and troop yeah. support, ground support. It's just like the A-10 is now. It's, that's the new Thunderbolt. Right. Um, but they would, you know, run into, have to bounce, you know, ME-109s or whatever. Have, they'd have to be able to fight, too. <clears throat> but one of the very interesting stories that he told me was there was these uh, submarine pins in France that were German submarine pins that were right. – Totally, totally concrete, man. And they they kept trying to bomb them, kept trying to bomb them, you know, but it bombed the living hell out of them. It wasn't doing anything. And they were like, how the hell we stop them? And uh, I didn't even know they had napalm back in World War II, but they did. Because when I think of napalm, I think of Vietnam. Yeah, so do I. But, but they came in with shitloads of napalm and hit those submarine pins. And what it did was all the fire took the oxygen out of the air and everybody, all the guys in there just suffocated, man. And that's how they killed those sub pins. They, you know, they went in there later and they said, everybody just looked like they were asleep. You know, they had suffocated. Oh yeah. Cause it sucked all the air out of it. Yeah. 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 Napalm. It's almost like, uh, the, uh, what do we have? The Daisy clusters now or whatever. Oh, I don't know what they got now, man. They the got oh no, bunker busters. That's what they're called. Oh, the bunker buster. Yeah, yeah, that's some shit. Yeah, yeah, that thing like digs down underground and then blows up. Oh, that looks good, man. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've got to do a couple coats of this green to be able to get the full effect. Um, but I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do probably two or three coats on this i love so it you can actually see the green i don't know if you guys can really see it because no i can see it it looks really good um you know another thing a lot of people don't know was there wasn't an air force back then and he was in the army air corps the, the you know it's the air force before the air force was part of the army they were the army air corps yeah That is, it, man, it's bad when you got glasses and you still can't see. Well, Do what? I've been providing good glasses. Jeremy's got a pair and he can do really well with them. I wear the so, hell out of them. <laughs> these, these really help your vision. <laughs> That's what my head feels like sometimes. <laughs> I wear Y'all want to hear, hear something crazy? Hell yeah. I was on, I was on two different antidepressants within the last... Uh, I wasn't depressed, but but I took one to quit smoking, and the other one kind of made me a better person, or whatever. Yeah. And um, I quit taking those things. I mean, I just said screw it when I got yeah. out of the band, and my eyesight got better. No shit. I can I drive with no glasses. None of that shit. Drove all the way down to Jeremy's house and back with no glasses, and I put my glasses on, and it looked worse. I'm like, whoa. Something's up with it. My eyesight got better. Hey, you're coming down for Thanksgiving, right? I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on it. Yeah, man. Oh it's, it's yeah. So cool. Oh, wait a minute now. Name what? fair. I'm hungry. I know. Dude, Fix me some pie, lady. <laughs> pie, oh, you make homemade apple pie and homemade <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah. I homemade oh, a cheesecake, man. Don't even talk about that. Oh, shit. It's a no bake cheesecake too. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, follow Jeremy for more recipes because he said this was uh, easy to do. All right, you want a recipe for a cheesecake? Yeah, let me grab my shindig. Sh it's you only ready? three ingredients. Okay. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. First, you well, well, four ingredients if you include the graham cracker crust. Okay. You okay. get your. Yeah, all right. All right. You need to take a, a thing of cream cheese, about like, like a 
a Wait, six like a block, a block of Philly cream cheese. It, it can be Philly. It can be, it doesn't matter. Just cream cheese. Okay. But that one block thing, I forget one how block, much it weighs. One block of cream cheese. I want to say it's 12 or 16 ounces, something like that. All right. Let it get to room temperature. Okay. Then you're going to take one tub of whipped cream, like cool whip. Don't matter. Right, 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 right. One cup of sugar. Okay. One cup of sugar. All right. And then you're going to blend it and mix that shit all together. And you're going to blend it and blend it and blend it and blend it and whisk it and blend it or put it in your whatever. And you're going to get it all reduced down. Right. All right. Stop. Gonna, all you right. mean when, hold on. When you mean blend it, you put it like in a blender and you're really like a mechanical. Not a blender, just, like a whisker, like a beater. You're going to beat okay, it. Okay. So you can like, just mix it up by hand. Yeah, yeah. You can do You can mix it up by hand too. Yeah. You know. Okay. I mean, it doesn't okay. matter. And then what you do is then you take it and you pour that into your pie filling, okay? And you the shake the graham cracker crust thingy. Graham cracker crust, yes. Yeah. Shake your graham, shake it out so it gets nice and level. Put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge, okay? Let it sit in the fridge for like a day, day and a half. There you go. Really? You Man. don't even have to let it sit that long. You can let it sit for a couple hours, up to eight hours, but the longer you let it sit, the firmer it gets. All right, let me ask you this. How do you make it taste like, um, because the best cheesecake I ever had was a key lime cheesecake. How do you get that key lime shit in there? Mm, if you get like key lime flavoring or whatever, you would just add that in there. Just mix it in there with the stuff. Yeah, but just remember... You add a little bit of that flavoring in at a time because you can always add. You can't take it out. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You could be like, yeah, it's like a haircut. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> and boy, I've had some bad one of them. It doesn't matter. Hand mixer, it doesn't matter either way. Meemaw said eat some Okay, bananas. one block is eight right. ounces. Then you want 16 then. You want two blocks then. Okay. okay. If one block is eight ounces... You want 16. You want two blocks. Okay. Of the, of the Philly cream cheese. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If, if and you know what I noticed? I, you know what I've noticed is I've gotten the, the cream cheese just like that, but it's the Food Line brand, and it ain't worth a dang. Well, I mean, um, I like the Food Line brand, too. It really don't bother me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, the Philly cheese, the Philly yeah, brand does taste better. better. It does. But if you don't have the money for the fucking Philly and you got to substitute for the, the, you know, generic brand or whatever, it works just as good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Yorga. What? Little Meemaw said, yeah, go to Florida and get a damn key lime. I can, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> don't you dare me, lady. I'll go to Florida and get I a key lime. I'll go to Florida. I get a damn key lime. My house is Win Dixie, and you can buy you a key lime pie. Oh, key lime pie! Oh my god! Hey, you want the recipe for the French toast that I made for Christina? That she was like, "Oh, yeah," and I want another cheese dip too. Okay, all right. Well, the cheese <laughs> dip. I gave you the cheese dip one already. Yes, yeah, so you can't have it again, lady. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll give it to you again, but I, it's I, a I mean, one-time deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What did I say? French toast. Okay, here you go. Here, here's a here's a banging French toast. Okay, you take your eggs, and it doesn't matter. You know, whatever, however many eggs you're gonna make, or how you know, however many pieces of French toast you're gonna have. Oh. You your eggs in your bowl. Okay, take a little bit of milk, just a tiny little bit of milk. Pour your milk in there. Okay, and beat that shit all up. Beat all right. Up. Then take about a capful and a half to two capfuls. Of vanilla extract and pour that in there okay then take about two spoons of sugar and pour that in there and then take about a spoon and a half of cinnamon pour that in there whisk all that up okay then you're gonna get your skillet really hot get it really really hot turn it all the way up and then turn it down to a low you know a medium nice low medium heat that way it heats up and then it get it reduces down and it stays at that nice hot temperature okay and then you take you take your bread dunk it both sides really quick put it on your uh flat top or whatever grill it skillet whatever you're cooking in okay and then just uh wait for uh i don't know i usually wait about 45 seconds to a minute give or take 
then flip it over and you'll see it be a nice brown color, you know, like an eggish brown color on it, man. Just like that. And you just keep on flipping it until however, you know, dark you like it or whatever. And bam, here you go. Then Laura. you can put confectionery sugar on it if you want, or you can fucking go from there. Yeah. Have you, ever, Jeremy, have you ever had it with um, little eggnog on it? I don't eat eggnog. Oh. Okay. That's just nasty. Boy, a lot of us it. fix it the way Jeremy just described Sorry, Crystal, it. but I don't eat eggnog. <laughs> Put some uh, bananas and papayas on top. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Or strawberry or blueberries mm -hmm. or peaches. Or Went to Florida one time, and they made the great French toast. But then you ordered all what topping you want on it, and I, it would have whipped cream and pineapple and strawberries oh, yeah. and coconut flakes and it was like oh my gosh <clears throat> yep oh the liberty statue of the loitering <laughs> here he is <laughs> Jeremy, Han Solo has a question. What? Uh, Han Solo asked a question. Do you, you use, use Texas, Texas toast? toast for that? It doesn't matter, Hans. You can use either or. You can use Texas toast or you can use reg regular. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You know. But that I mean, Texas okay, toast is better. Right, all right. I, yeah, it's different. No, it's not different. Bread is bread. The only difference is, is Texas toast is like booyah and regular bread's like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. So if you want more, and, unless you want to be a smart ass, and you're like, well, what about pumpernickel or marble rye or Hawaiian <laughs> sweet bread or something? It's like, all right, man. Now we're fucking splitting hairs here. <laughs> you guys like that raisin bread? I like this. I love cinnamon raisin, cinnamon bread. raisin bread. I love oh, cinnamon yeah. raisin. Uh, mm. I get it every muffins. couple of years, man. And just Cin cinnamon, cinnamon raisin bread. English muffins. I love that shit too, man. The cinnamon <laughs> bagels. We make, we make the cinnamon like raisin bagels, bread, too. but we put nuts in with it too sometimes. You did what? Oh, I got to turn up the volume. Hold on. Like put walnuts. <laughs> Ain't going, these there. Ain't going there. Lady, I am not going there. <laughs> Lady. Yes, you must. No, I will not. But yeah. Make cinnamon homemade cinnamon yeah. raisin bread and you can throw in some nuts and oh my gosh, it's good. Pecans. Pecans, yes. Have uh, you ever had uh, you know, from Virginia around here, one of the big things we have is pecan pie. Have you ever had that? Oh. Have, that's that's a big thing down up here and, in the and, south. And, and they make a, a actual peanut pie that's pretty much the same thing. It's good. Uh, as, peanut butter pie? Well, oh. peanut, no, peanut pie or pecan pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yes. Whipped cream on top. Oh, my God. Anyone like molasses? And yeah, I'm not a big fan. Of I do. It I depends do. on where it's going. And I didn't mean that as a joke. I, just a just a look on your face when you said it. No, once I said it, I was like, that didn't sound right. I know your face just <laughs> gave it away. There's something I really do like molasses in, and I can't think of what it is, but I think I think that is in pecan pie. Molasses is a, a big What is that shit made, made of, anyway? Where, where did that come from? Molasses? molasses. Laura's like, nope. <laughs> I, I've had molasses many a times from my dad's. I know, but where did it come from? It's got to come from some plant or something. A tree. There. A tree. I think it's like Maple trees or something like it's that. Kind of bark or some it shit. It comes from the tree. Yeah. It comes from the it tree. It grows from the tree. The, tree. <laughs> the, the tree. statue of loitering. Oh, Meemaw likes molasses cookies. 
You should check like out the chat. Now. The no, 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 no. Molasses cookies. I hear you there, Meemaw. You damn right. I love molasses cookies, especially the soft ones, the archways. You know what I'm mm. fucking talking about? Oh, yeah, mm. the cheap ones. The ones you get at Dollar General. Ain't nothing wrong with Dollar General. I didn't say there was. Ain't nothing wrong with Dollar Tree either. <laughs> As long as you got a dollar, baby. It's just like I motherfuckers are the little Girl Scouts are like, you want some Girl Scout cookies? I'm like, hell no, I don't want that fucking shit because I can get the exact same damn cookie at freaking Dollar General or Walmart for the fucking cheaper price. I ain't paid six dollars for a box of Girl Scout cookies just because mm -hmm. you guys are smiling no, on the fucking side so and having a great fucking time. Fuck you. I make not my own so, damn not so fast, Jeremy. I swear, those fucking Girl Scout cookies. When I was a kid, they only had the peanut butter ones, and I can't remember what, what, what they were called. What were they called? Dosey <laughs> Dose, I think, isn't it? Dosey Dose. Yeah, and they had the Thin Mints. I love Thin Mints now. And oh, I think I, I was. Own thin I swear, cookies. when I was a kid, I think they only had the two. But man, that, those peanut butter ones, mm -hmm. did, did you tell me I can get those at Walmart now? I, I can see them at, I found them at Walmart and Dollar General, oh. like the Thin Mints, the Macaroons, yes. the Peanut Butter Filled yep. ones, the regular. And I like the, the Dosey Dose. Those are the ones I like. The original one. That was, that was the I original found, Girl Scout cookie. I found them either at A, Walmart, or B, Dollar General. No, or actually, and at Yorga, since you're where I am, close to the south, I've seen a couple of them at Food Lion, too. Wow. That, that just that just like ruined my whole fucking youth, man. It's pouring yeah. the rain here. I was sitting here all of a sudden. I could hear it sound like somebody turned on a fire hose and started spraying. Always, the house. Damn. Waiting right? for the Girl Scouts to come over every year. <laughs> I have a tin roof. When I, when I was in the Boy Scouts and Weeblows and all that shit, we used to, used to have to sell popcorn. That's what um. That's what when my my youngest son, who's now thirty, um. Uh, Shit, 30, 30, yeah. He was in the Cup Scouts and we did popcorn and we won. We actually, me and him canvassed and we sold $450 worth of freaking Cup Scout popcorn. popcorn. Yeah, yeah. That was a good popcorn too, man. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, I, yeah, I had where I used to live at, I had this little, well, her son was still in elementary, like early elementary. And she come around and wanted us to buy, you know, these big things of popcorn or other things in the book. Okay. Yeah. I never got what I paid her for. Uh -oh. They took that money and put it in their pocket and did not send it to the school, I believe. Because my rent lady done the same thing and that was 30 bucks out of our pocket. Mm. Well, I hate to say I'm guilty. I got on the baseball team when I was a kid, and me and my friend Marty Richardson, we got these 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 boxes. We had to sell these candy bars. They were I like had to do Clark, that. I did Clark that. bars, Clark bars. I can't remember what else was in there. Maybe Butterfingers, something like that. But it was mm -hmm. like kind of like the off-brand bars. And we and he was the one. I blame him. He was older than me. He had the scheme. We got on the baseball team. We got to the point we had to sell the candy. We sold half the candy, we ate half the candy, and then we spent all the money. And then we got kicked off the baseball team. Hell and yeah. then, you know what? We did it the next year and did it again. <laughs> it was like, I felt I like did. I was the mob or the something, Lord does man. not look kindly on you. <laughs> it was organized crime, man. I'm telling you, man. It was terrible. Man. But those candy bars were good, man. Orga, I did the same thing, except for we had to do it for marching band. But instead of like, well, <laughs> instead of me eating half the candy, I, I sold all the candy. But then I turned around and I used the money and got acid and weed with it. Yeah, we did. Well, we sold half, <laughs> ate half, <laughs> and spent the money. <laughs> what, what were you, uh, hey, if you were in marching band, what instrument were you playing? Trombone. Oh, man. Ooh, that's a. Ooh, and you gotta have your intonation in on that. I, I I still have my trombone. Actually, my trombone was my dad's trombone when he was in high school in jazz band. Was it? Well, what is it? That's why it's worth a lot of money. Is this, is it a, a, a um? I want to say no school 
of, of not Seymour. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but no, I don't know what brand it is or anything, but I do know I need to get it replaced because the spit valve is completely ripped off. There were two brands, Con and C-O-N-N and um, um, and man, M-A-N-N. <laughs> yeah. And man, man. Con man. Right. See, I got it. <laughs> I was corrupted at a young age by my people in my neighborhood. I was a good kid. Yeah, you was right. a good kid? I thought I was. Well, I'd hate to see what a bad kid is, your, in your opinion. <laughs> they corrupted me. I blame them all. No, man. no, you can't blame them for what you do. You you got your own right mind to make uh -oh. a decision if you want to uh -oh. do it or not. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you can't blame your problems on everybody else. If you go look in the mirror, you see your problems. That's, now, wait a minute. Order. <laughs> That's what the noun person wants to do. Put the blame everywhere but where it goes. Selmer. Yep. Selmer. That was the name of the other. Jeremy, I'm sorry. Selmer and Khan. Oh, Khan. <laughs> she ran in and Selmer was the other ones that made the good sacks for me. Yeah. I played uh, alto sax. I played B flat clarinet. I played Damn. B flat clarinet. I played the B flat clarinet was hard as shit. That's um, bass clarinet, right? I, I played French horn and I played, uh, believe it or not, tuba and sousaphone. You can get your you old head. Like that freaking thing. French yeah. horn is the worst. Is the worst instrument to play because it presses up against your two incisor teeth and that and it fucks them all up. And you got to put your hand up in the bell. Yeah. You gotta put your hand up in the middle. But it's a beautiful sounding uh, horn. And, I, I love it. Play, yeah, unless you were playing a marching band French horn, and then it actually looks like a trumpet. Oh, okay. A marching band French horn actually looks like a trumpet. It's just a wider bell. What's the difference? And I, and I honestly don't know that. I don't know this answer. Um, what is the difference between a cornet and a trumpet? Yeah. Yes, me mom cried again. Boo. A cornet, a trumpet, a cornet is small. <laughs> it's what? Smaller. You see any tear? So it's like a smaller <laughs> trumpet. Yeah. Yeah, a cornet, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, I, I played in a band uh, years and years ago that had horns. They had a horn section. And this one kid had this trumpet, but the bell went up like this, like it was like it was in a car wreck or something. But it was yeah, supposed I, to. That you ever seen one of them? No, I've never seen that before ever. Wow. I've never, that I've never seen. I'm gonna be honest. But it was like a regular trumpet, but the actual where the bell was, it went up like this, and it was supposed to be like that. That's crazy. I ain't never yeah, seen it was nuts, man. It sounded great. The thing about horn players that I hated is they always were blowing their spit out on the stage, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. they got that spit thing. You have thing to. Like, you have to be stop. That's horrible, man. You had to, man, because if not, it would crackle. No, you have to, but it's horrible. Oh, yeah, I, that, yeah. My spit valve fucking was. I am a guitar player. I'm like, I ain't got to spit a, a bunch of shit out on the stage, stage, man. What the hell, man? I just, every now and then, I just go, <laughs> You sure y'all didn't have a camel out there on the stage? <laughs> you didn't have a what? A camel? A camel. No, we didn't have a, well, if we had a camel, I didn't know about it. <laughs> no, but a horn will fill up with spit and they have spit valves and they blow it out every now and then. Yep. I understand that, but it's horrible. It's like it's like being in a band with a bunch of guys that chew tobacco or some shit, man. No, it's you not know? Thank you for dashing me some tissues. God, you crying again? Yeah. Call me a damn river lady. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that noun person, yep. Talk they, to the statue of loitering. That's it. Did they chew too? Han Solo asked. This thing is solar powered, I'm telling you. I'm green. I'm green energy loitering. Green energy loitering. Oh no, he's loitering tonight. Now it's green energy. Yeah. Meanwhile, you want mm. door dash? Well, hell, we don't even have that shit out here. <laughs> we don't. They got shed that. Where she lives, she got shed that. 
<laughs> yeah, my niece does that door dashing. I'm telling you, I'm so glad I'm back home and ain't even funny. There's no place like home. And not just that. It's just I was around young people and I'd get my stuff and go upstairs to the room I was sleeping in. We'd all get high and I'd just go up there, take my bowl and go up there and smoke. Let's go eat, go get high, go up there, and we'll call gully damage. Yeah. Well, how many pizzas you want? Three. What do you want on them? Ooh, okay. Anchovies. Because so nobody else will eat them except for me. Then That's we know you what want. you'll eat. <laughs> you're going to eat that, we know what you're going to eat. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Ooh, mm -hmm. doggy. You don't, you don't care, care if it's a little fish. Why he was talking about. <laughs> when he was describing the instrument, he said, Yeah, you can put your face up in it. <laughs> right, the tube. The tube is so fun. It's because the mouthpiece is just good. Got it. Go. See, that's it's like your doing mouse to mouse. It's your yeah. practice. It ain't no telling what they do to that thing when they got it at home. <laughs> <laughs> I had a <laughs> Jeremy cracked up. I'll say, you know, you talk about your <laughs> spreading mustard. <laughs> Who's spreading mustard? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Yorga says he likes fish. <laughs> <laughs> that, that depends on what type of fish you talk. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Tuna a la carte. A la carte. <laughs> I already told you if I got to go. Just smell it before you can get in it, then don't bother with it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. It Man, like, some, I could <laughs> tell some stories, but I'm not going. It to. smells like cologne. Leave it alone. Whoa, it smells, it smells like, like fish. fish. No, what a bitch. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it a hook. <laughs> You might have something to eat for the night. <laughs> and you know, people love sushi. I'm not one of them. <laughs> people love that shit. Not no, me. You're going to eat a raw fish, but you won't eat sushi. <laughs> I hit gal. Come on in. <laughs> this is off the rails night. Thank you very much. Y'all are getting dirty. You dirty ladies. I'm going to turn you into YouTube. It's after midnight. I'm, I'm calling, I'm calling one nine nine. To you, team YouTube. Hey man, it's after midnight. It is time to derail this train. Uh -oh. It's already been derailed. Yeah, then I'm we got back on and then derailed, derailed again. What's the son of a bitch? She's the head that one. These are some crazy <laughs> damn tracks. I think you just shut down. You guys will shut down, are you? No, what? I'm talking about taking this stream off of the extreme. I was going to say, there's way too many jokes that we haven't even gotten to. Oh, hell no. We ain't, I ain't done yet. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> caviar? Mm, no, sorry. I'm going to tell y'all a story about caviar. Uh, all right. my, my husband thought he was going to be funny one night, and he caught some walleye. Right. Well, they had some eggs in them. And he's out there forever in the kitchen. And I think I was back here doing something. Yeah. Next thing I know, he goes, hey, try this. And he shoves this stuff in my mouth. And I'm looking at him. I said, this tastes like damn styrofoam balls. I don't want it. Oh, no. <laughs> I did. I spit that shit out. I said, it tastes like styrofoam balls. I don't want that shit. He says, yeah. rich people eat. <laughs> Somebody must have been really hungry when they invented that shit. Um, supposedly, they they make it with with eggs, roe and eggs, and you know. I don't know what the hell he made, but it was it was tastes like oh, it was like shit. It was just like somebody <laughs> took a bag of fucking styrofoam balls and dumped them in your mouth, like here, you know. It's like <laughs> what the hell it tasted like, but it tasted like shit. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was not right. <laughs> and I think that I think he, he cracked up laughing because I just went. I shot that. I just spit that all out of him. I said, "Hell no!" <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a lot of times that I hate to admit that I'm French, but I'm French. But man, well, I ain't eating that shit. French people love that shit. French people love eating like turtle soup and shit. Man, I ain't eating that shit, man. <laughs> I need a turtle, you know. I know, or 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 vitro, or, or or brains, or any of that. No, they like, love to eat damn crickets and every damn thing else because that's what your ass gonna be eating if they stop these trains. Oh my <laughs> goodness! I, I, could, I would, could probably eat a cricket quicker than I could eat a fish egg or. Um, because a fish egg, it's got to, it, in, in Cosmo, it, it's got to be like fishy though too, right? Like they, ooh. It was like fishy styrofoam balls in your mouth. Uh, it's still like a fishy, rotten, fishy kind of thing going on too, right? Get that shit out of here. Go cook them fillets up and. Don't they call like them egg rolls or rolls or something like that? Uh, Caviar egg roll bullshit. <laughs> Couldn't pay me to eat No, no, no. I ain't eating that shit. Man. I went to, I went to a sushi bar one night. I, I had this crazy girlfriend. She took me in a sushi bar. She was like, here, try this. I'm like, no. Nah. She's like, try this. No. Nah. And then they brought me this soup. It's called miso soup. I was like, miso nasty soup. It looks like bitch water with Fruit Loops floating in it and shit. And I was like, I don't need that shit. I'm dude. I was like, I'm not eating that shit. They me finally so came out. Never buy me this, of a song. They finally so came nasty. out with this some some shrimp that was called tempura. They were like these really looked like shrimp that came out of Walking Dead or some shit because they were really long and I never seen a shrimp like. But they were good and I ate them. Okay. Yeah. Those are probably prawns. Well, I don't know what they were. They called them uh, tempura. I've seen prawns before. They got the really hard shells on. Yeah. These were, they didn't have any shells, but they were like long shrimp. Uh, uh, but they were, they were fried. Japanese. They were, they were actually Japanese cooked. Food. You yeah, like Japanese food? Huh? Japanese. You like Japanese food? Uh, yes, yeah, some. Oh, I love it. I like my hillbilly food though too. Oh yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's how mm -hmm. I cook this country. I'm hoping that he gets better this week because I want some damn. I'm gonna make some soup, beans, fried taters, cornbread, and I want him to be better. I don't want him yeah. to have gas while he's not feeling good. <laughs> so. Is he taking antibiotics? Not yet. Well, that'll do it too. No, he's just um, trying to ride it out, see see if he's going to feel better. But, oh, yeah, I don't want to feed him think, anything. What do you think? He's got COVID or, or what? I don't. He's just got a fever off and on. Doesn't really have a cough or anything. He doesn't uh, have a pulse. Is, this, is, is he getting his period? It could be. He's like, got a fever. He doesn't really have a pulse. But... Yeah. You know what you yeah. said? No. Oh. I was like, I, and you'd probably get it. So you might want to go check, lady. <laughs> oh, God. I, yeah. oh, man. He's not running. He's kind of cold to me. He's been a very. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you put, did you put your, your, your ear up to his foot and was like, I can't make a heartbeat? Yeah, I, I I had forgot where to go. Yeah, if I stuck it up near his ass, it would. No, I would have thought he was alive. You know, no, then you'd be dead. <laughs> well, I know whenever you 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 know somebody's choking you on some food, you do the Heine lick maneuver on them. Yeah, right. yeah, you know, they right that shit right up. You know, you know who invented that? Uh, Doctor Heinlich. Yes, but it's a it's a trivia uh, question. Um, the guy the guy who played Potsy on Happy Days that was his brother. Oh wow! 
came up with the Heimlich maneuver. No shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. It's just yeah, I'm a, I'm all the things I should know that like will make my life better. I don't know jack shit about, but all the things that like don't mean anything, I know everything about. I I know what you mean there. Yeah. It's like my yeah. dad he used to always tell me if you could memorize your homework and schoolwork as much as you could memorize fucking movies by just and, and, and you know commercials and shit. He said you'd be a freaking genius. <laughs> My dad said the same thing to me. <laughs> you have to thrust too. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what Hans wrote. <laughs> Yogurt's looking around. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just hanging in my kitchen. I can't see the chat. So you know who's going to be pissed? Who? Hey. Miss Christina, because she slept. That's not my fault. I tried to call her. I did. So did I. Yeah, she did. Hold I started on. at ten thirty, and I'll, I'll maybe I should call her. Oh my god! Call her up. Tell her it's emergency. Just call 991. Tell her it's a Oh my God. He's good on the set. Everybody call on her. Now, I think I got a phone number. I got to do another pose here. And this again is of, of noun person. Okay. Okay. I don't know who uh, you talk. I swear, you know what? I don't know who you're talking about, and, and I think I'm glad I don't know who you're talking about. You know Trust I mean? me, you don't. I'd rather be blissfully unaware. You know, be on YouTube. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Somebody calling her up? Somebody. Yep. Wake up. Oh. Hey, let's all call her at one time. <laughs> let's do a SWAT team. Yeah, right. SWAT. Well, wait a minute. If we all call at the same time, it's going to kick a call over to a voicemail right away. Then she'll have four voicemails. <laughs> he just did, <laughs> Jeremy. <coughs> oh, she's sleeping. Like, that's all I can do. <laughs> I know. I've done all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But she's like down about oh yeah she's gonna stay on this late i'm like keep calling keep calling that's it she's fired oh, no. we fired her tonight i just didn't fire. 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 <laughs> but i'll rehire right just pick up the phone so yeah. we can tell you it's fired yeah tell her okay you didn't show up for keep going She's sleeping. I already know what she's dreaming about. I don't know. Something stupid. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't know what I was going to say, man. The only reason I said that is because everything I dream is really stupid. I dream the dumbest things that make no sense, and I wake up going, Okay, who's she dreaming of? <laughs> Oh, she's not dreaming of. of she's dreaming of something stupid. Yeah, I can hear her. I can hear her snore. Is that, can I hear her snoring or is that Jeremy's airbrush? My airbrush? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> you were bigger than that. You were <laughs> I want to know more. <laughs> How could somebody who's not even here have such a, a, a presence? So I'm you. <laughs> I want to know about your job title down here. Your bar. Which one do I got now? You got bartender Betty Ford Clinic. Could you? <laughs> 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 Bartenders for AA. <laughs> See, that's a good subject. Jeremy gets it. Bartender for AA. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you gotta have that guy in the pocket over there, man. A guy that knows what he's doing. Yeah. 
give me a little Jägermeister, please. Oh, would you would you like a chilled bourbon? Absolutely. Yeah, because otherwise it tastes like freaking Robitussin. No, not if you drink it with Dr. Pepper. Chase it with Dr. Pepper. I used to chase no, it with Red the Bull. Best one, the best one is a shot That's of Jaeger. A shot of Jaeger. And, yeah, we did. And, yeah, um, Jaeger bombs, and we chased it too with them. Look at and, it. And Red Bull with ice, like a mixed drink. I don't drink. I just smoke. Well, we don't care, Crystal. Anyhow. <laughs> and I don't do <laughs> shit either. <laughs> Take it and stuff it, yoga. We were talking about a drink. Hey, drink. Okay, well then, get over here. I ain't had Jaeger in about 10 years. Jaeger in about 10 years. It's like cough medicine. I mean, I like it, but. I'll tell you something. Else. You take one, you take two, you're good. You take that third one and you're like. Hey, and you don't remember anything, and then you wake up in somebody else's apartment. You want to, you want to know something about Jägermeister? Like real Jägermeister? Like the real yeah. shit that really comes in Germany? Not because the stuff that we have, yeah, it says it's made from Germany and everything, but it's like not real Jägermeister. Because over in Germany, the real Jägermeister is, is an opium based. It is very light opium in it, man. And that's what settles your stomach. Well, now I need to go to Europe. I tell you something that tastes nasty, and that's that dang uh, gold slugger. Oh man, see that? See, that's the one thing that you can drink, and then shit gold flakes. You're literally drinking heavy metal. <laughs> yep, oh and you're shitting gold. <clears throat> yeah, you're I literally shitting gold. heavy metals. Yeah, yeah. When you get a turd, it's got a little like sparkle in it. You're like, hey, I'm and gonna drink. The best thing is, is when you mine the gold afterwards. <laughs> well, then that's what you call fool's gold, right? No, that's the real but stuff. But Jeremy, do you pan for it? Do you yeah, pan, yeah pan that's what for I'm it? saying. And you flush and then shake. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of shit. Shake. Speaking of shit, I forgot to tell you all uh -oh. that these motherfuckers next door took bags of shit and has thrown them over the fence and I had to go out today and Andy could see something. He kept telling me because I think they threw garbage over here. They had bags of, I don't know if it was cat shit, dog shit, person shit. It was shit and bags thrown over my yard today. Oh, Ooh, on I your property. On I your property. put it in a paper bag and took it to the porch and lit it up. Well, I just threw the shit right back. That's what I was going to yep. say. I had to throw it right back over. I did. I threw it right back over. Oh, no. Damn. You got to do more. You got to do more. Oh, no. Do more. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is how you rectify that situation. Uh, rectify. These people. <laughs> man, I'm telling you. You got some nasty neighbors. <laughs> I've right. got some. They threw this a diaper over do. here. We Wake get up tomorrow morning and make sure that you've had you a nice good cup of coffee, okay? And you let you a good churning in your belly. And then go out on and go out to their front porch and drop trowel and bend a nice little biscotti right there in the front yard. And you know, you can sit there and look at YouTube while you do it. I mean, you look at Facebook, read the paper, whatever you do. You know, have your cup of coffee, smoke a cigarette, and drop a deuce right there. I would, but A, they already come outside and they piss off the front porch. Everybody can see it. They teach the kids to do this. So oh. all the males do this. Oh, well, then. Um, <clears throat> they try to drown a cat. Laura oh Laura in chat was at my house when this happened. She got to see a lot of the stuff. Oh, my gosh. Uh, they leave kids naked. They leave kids completely alone from age one up to about age 10 or 11. Oh, you got big uh, problems. You got uh, big problems. They yeah. broke my fence. They shoved up there. I don't know if I can even show it. I don't have it on my computer. Uh, little Meemaw's son and uh, daughter have seen this shit, too. They've broke my fence. They have shoved piles of shit. I mean, garbage shit, propane tank wood they broke my fence they're shoving it onto my property there you guys have no idea man no. Why you call the cops listen to me for a second shit. i have this is actually 
more than than what a family like you guys can deal with. This is, you know, it's one thing to say, oh, well, I would do this, I would do that shit's out of control. It is. Um, um, it's it's, even tell it's you a the matter of, of the government. Somebody's got to do something. We call well, Child Protective Services. They were called already. They, I have also spoke with our township zoning. They're supposed to have come. They never came last week. I spoke with the, the health department. I'd be scared after, of them. So the health department tells me I have to file online. So I had to do that. So I had to fill out the complaint online. We called... Um, uh, the state, the, the uh, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, because of the wood that they keep bringing in from quarantine places. My county's quarantined. Right, right, right. I know what that fire. is. Like camp, like campfire wood. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, yeah. any wood because we've got the ash borer and uh, the ash bug that eats the tree and that other uh, beetle that's been eating trees. So we called okay. ODNR. ODNR said they really couldn't do anything but to call Ohio Department of Agriculture. We called uh, that. They were supposed to have an investigator to inspect the wood and check this guy's business logs of where the wood's coming from. Nobody showed up from there. Yeah, they locked the kids in the dog kennel. Uh, <clears throat> the dog warden has been out for health checks on the dogs. They don't put them in shade, the one. It has no shade at all. Uh, barely, they've been called for feeding and watering the dogs. They got now they got six dogs. They got four pit bulls, no, three pit, three or four pit bulls, which they train to be mean and they dog fight and, and you name it, guys. They're, mm -mm -mm. yeah. They need they need to go, man. They need to go. I'd go I hate that, that, that because I, would I, go I, get I, I told skin. you before. I think somebody around here is fighting dogs around me, too. And I live in a very, really cool area, you know, but still. Um, well, this guy fought an American Bulldog a few years ago. Huh. And he was a big American Bulldog. Gorgeous. I would have I took it in a heartbeat. Well, <clears throat> he posts a video on facebook of that dog fighting the pit bull he already had oh my gosh so the lady lady? the lady who sold him the dog he signed the contract she came that and got that dog and took it back she Good. said i have it in my contract you sign it that was not to be any kind of fighting doing anything like that she goes and look what you just did she come and took it but oh. they do all kinds of stuff i'm telling you man i'm mm. Yep, but that pissed me off to have shit in a bag. I didn't oh. know if it was a kid that shit in the bag or if it was their dogs in the house. Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter if it's shit in a bag. I mean, it's it like, shit. man, fuck you. They, I would have, man, I, it would have gotten violent. They, me. Well, oh, yeah. I've been there. They threw a diaper. They throw diapers over here. But one, well, about two years ago, they had thrown a shitty diaper. <clears throat> I happen to have a uh, uh, um, glove in my hand for my greenhouse. So <clears throat> I put my hand on it and I went like this to throw it and I wasn't looking. I'm down in like a little ditch. There's a big high privacy fence that's half tore down from them kids. And I went just to toss it up over the fence next then I heard a kaplump and I thought well that sounded funny. What the hell that hit? So I peeked through the fence I threw it in the car when I didn't even know I did it. I just was doing like this over my head. Didn't even know where in the house. I, was it. <laughs> oh, damn, that I just kept on walking down like I didn't do a damn thing. I just kept walking. My dog just kept on going. Now, today, they've got it on their equipment. <clears throat> what they threw over here is on their equipment. Yes. <clears throat> I made sure. What, what a nightmare. You know, I have to say, I am so blessed. I live on a point on a crazy crossroads where about a dozen people have been killed because it's like a dead man's curse. And that's the leg driver. However, very peaceful place to my right is a single guy who's cool as shit. To my next neighbor over here is a single guy who's cool as shit. And I'm just, I feel like I'm just in heaven. You know, He's the I mean, only bad neighbors we got. My other neighbors lived here 30 years. He moved in three months after we did. 
but he's been divorced for a while, but he lives there. The other neighbors, my kid grew up with a bunch of the kids up here. I grew up on the other the end of the road, so I know everybody. Everybody knows right. me. Well, we got these hoodlums over here. Mm -mm. And they, right when you call the cops on them, they'll say, well, we got treated better in the ghetto. We'll take your happy ass back to the we'll ghetto. Say, this ain't no damn ghetto. No, no damn home. That's right. That's right. We got treated better in the ghetto. That's really what they say. Yeah, they, I have I have a police report from one of uh, their one dog that they would not lock up, attacked me and my dog in the middle of the night. And he and he's quoted in that police report saying he got treated better than the ghetto. That doesn't that that shouldn't even be in a police report. You understand? That, that, I mean, that's, that's got nothing to do with evidence or or anything. Well, we got treated better. He tells them. Go, go back to the ghetto then. Damn it. I mean, even when the dog warden, the last time she came over for a three month well check on the one dog, he told her to get off his property, that she was trespassing, and told her to fuck off. And I thought he was going to hit her. I was on the front porch the whole time. She had to call the sheriff to back her up. But it seems like that's as far as it goes. Nothing ever comes out of any phone calls or anything. I know what how to get from is. the government. Supposedly, they got foster kids. I've been over here. I overheard them talking. Oh, no. So really? now, and there's he, the guy was the guy that lives there because all my foster kids just love me. If he's talking to somebody in his driveway, we're allowed. And my one neighbor says he sounds like he's got cock throat. I've known people that have gotten foster kids just because of the financial. Exactly. You know what I mean? it's not because I want to help or anything like And it's. I used to work with a guy. He used to get a bunch of Vietnamese kids that lived at his house, and I never trusted this guy for nothing. Well, I know for a fact. A foster have... parent, but he was getting money for doing this shit. I'm like, uh, you know, I didn't say anything. I couldn't right. say anything. But... Well, they have nine kids. Of Okay, when she moved in with him two years ago or three years ago, she had five of her own kids. Damn. Yeah, damn. And every one of them has a different daddy. Yeah. So then they got married. Then they have two kids together over here. That makes seven. She gets half visitation with some of her kids the other day. So she had not, they had nine kids over. That didn't count the ones that are the foster kids. That I think there are foster kids. There's one child, and I'm not making fun, but nobody can figure out if it's a boy or a girl. A what? We can't. One minute the child will have a shirt off like a boy. The next minute it's dressed like a girl. And I'm not making fun. I'm not. No, you and you almost can't. I can't you know, describe I, I the child. I feel sorry for the. Yes. I feel sorry not. for the child because if if you don't have a strong father and mother, you know, you know, you know. I. The kids come over talk to me and Andy once or twice, but we still don't know because they're young enough to where their voice ain't gonna reflect really. Right. You know, either way yet, because they haven't hit puberty. But they're starting to, it looks like they're starting to develop. It just, I can't figure it but out. A weirdo, look, but a weirdo family like that, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors at nighttime. That's what I'm you saying. Know? She took the one year old baby and put it on a uh, trampoline and left it there by itself. What the fuck? And we're sitting in my backyard, and I think that's when Laura and her husband were up here. And Laura was up away from where we were sitting outside, and her husband and I saw it, and my husband, and it was like, uh, yeah, no clothes on the little thing. Set it right there in the middle of that, and I was afraid it was going to roll and get stuck, like, in between or fall off. Or... In between the springs and everything. Yeah, Those well, springs yeah. are, are, are dangerous. So, that's the one she just had. That was the year old. Great. Oh my God. I'm distressed at how much our country has gone downhill. You know, and, and I'm not going to try to be like Abraham Lincoln here or anything right. like that. But, but you know what I mean? It's like when I hear stories like this, it's like, what the hell, man? I mean, back in the 60s, we would have beat the shit out of people like that and, 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 and you know, figured it out. And I'm, I'm telling you, the other night when they kept dumping the wood and stacking it up again, <clears throat> all along the fence in the back and everything, 
I really thought that Andy was going to go over there and go off. I really did. And I think that part of him not feeling good, he's been stressed about this over here, all the shit's been going on, picking up their garbage constantly. I mean, you can watch, they'll let the kids just get out of the vehicle. They'll take one drink out of their cup or whatever, and they just throw it on the ground and walk on. Just Have you it. found any of this? I've got yeah, pictures. Like, you know, hey, can I ask you this real quick? Um, where I live, I basically have like two eight, you know, so there's room between me and, and my house, which thank God I have great neighbors. Um, are you in like a subdivision or are you, you know, got a little bit of separation of land or, or you don't have to answer that either. But. I got 2.12 acres, but my property runs like an L shape. It'll come okay. down and okay. it veers off. Theirs runs the opposite of mine. So they come down parallel with mine, then the back portion of theirs runs in the opposite L direction. Gotcha. So we're right there. Yeah. You're right there. Yeah. Your driveways probably go like this, right? Well, like my driveway's over on this side. They got they they've added a driveway illegally. They built a cross driveway in the front yard illegally. Uh, they've made a road driveway illegally. So they've got driveways everywhere. Are they on drugs? Well, and are they dealing drugs? <laughs> yeah. The old man used to be in jail for drugs. Okay. Over here. Mm -hmm. You need to take those pictures and find out who you need to get in contact to and show them those pictures and tell them if you do not do something and one of them kids get hurt, I'm suing y'all because y'all knew the fact of what was going on. Well, the kid, well, here's the thing. The way they got the wood pile stacked, they're not stacked. They're just like you take the a load of wood and a clamp claw and drop it, and it just wherever it lands, it hits. Right, right. Them kids climb them piles, them little ones. And I'm afraid one of them logs is going to shift. Oh, they could get hurt on that big time. Yes, or I, uh, they have to. Because a log could weigh like, like six, eight pounds. And then and well, crack your freaking or little kids' ankle or some shit. tree logs that are. <clears throat> Hilger, are you smoking a blunt? I'm gonna see if I can. No, I'm smoking a, a macanudo. It's yes. actually real. This is their garbage they've piled up and shoved over. To my, they broke my fence and shoved this stuff. Holy shit. That's just one. Mm. Let me see which way I gotta go. Okay. Yeah, y'all don't need to be dealing with that shit. They got to toilets and crap all over my. Mm. There's the fence. Lop hole right there. It's all that's messed right up, there. man. Because you, you guys aren't bothering anybody, man. You're not doing that. You're not encroaching on their shit. This is the kind of trees that they're stacking against the fence and in big piles. It's big pieces of wood. Yep. Right, man. And concrete. Um, they broke, concrete. Oh yeah, they got concrete. They throw the logs. It's broke a lot of my my side of my trees and my shrubs. I've got. There's one. There's another one they've tossed. They've got a pile back here. It's broke the fence, come over the pole. Um, this is the kind of crap they stack up all along. Here's another pile of crap. Man, I feel so fortunate. I don't have to deal with something like that. And then I got my neighbors. Are, my neighbors are awesome. Yeah, mine are too. They put two pools up with no supervision. I know it's going to be hard to see, but there's a one blow up here, and then there's a bigger pool back there. Damn. Uh, kids get it. Nobody watches them. Yep, that's what I've been gathering up in the back part of my property. I, I'm, I'm sorry you have to deal with that. I really am. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for those kids. kids. So I'm fortunate. Gonna call, I just well, feel safe that I can just yeah. Me and I, I mean, everybody. Worry. Well, the other neighbors on the other side, she's elderly. They had to put up a complete chain link fence, brand new, the whole length of their property to keep them from driving through their yard, using their yard. Their dogs have gotten loose. One, one dog bit her granddaughter and her little teacup dog. If one of the pit bulls got loose. So attacked their granddaughter, attacked the dog over there. Um, but they I had to stop that motherfucker. 
Well, I had to, we had to, one we did. That's the one that attacked me and my old dog when they first moved in. After a month of them being told to keep the dog locked up, I was out 3 30 in the morning and it bit my pajamas, ripped my pajamas, trying to attack my dog. My son was the one shot wonder. He heard me screaming out there for help. Andy had was crashed out from work and my son happened to be up that at that time. And my son came to help me. Wow. I had to. He whacked him? My son did. One shot. Good. I'd be wanting to go over there and get those kids. I feel that bad. Laura seen it. She might have went to bed now because I know she's been pretty tired because she's been busy with on vacation, but Laura got to see them just let the dogs loose in the back. They don't care what's going on. Uh, like I said, they, she's got to see the kid, the kid bringing the, the, the cat, putting it in the pool. One of their cats doesn't even like to be over there. It comes over my house all the time. Uh, Meemaw's kids have seen a lot of the stuff too that goes on. Yep. So you need to keep it documented. Oh, I've been doing the best I can. I, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, um, but yeah, yeah they take away kids that don't need to be taken away and leave kids where they don't need to be. These, you, you should be able to live in peace. You know what I mean? You yeah. shouldn't have to. Well, those yeah. kids shouldn't have to grow up like that either. No. Oh yeah. And then when the, when, when someone turns 16, like his own daughter, when she turns or turned 16, about three or four years ago, they make that teenager move out to this garage and I'll try to get a picture of this garage for you guys and we'll and I'll have to get some stuff. There's no that they make a move into the small part of this garage and it's like, okay, it the front garage door isn't even on this. It's full of shit in there, garbage, and they got a little room. They make the teenager when they get that old, they make them go out there and stay till they're out of school. Those people as, are those people are fucking criminals, man. They're fucking yep. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. With that, and right, Mima, thank you for reminding me because when child services was called, uh, within two days, I guess they called and told them that they would be scheduling a coming because of a complaint or something. They tr they cleaned up the front yard, but they took everything and shoved it all in the back. Well, see, when we when I was younger, uh, we had a neighbor and they confessed to us about their daddy, their stepdad doing stuff to them. So my mom called the school and talked to the counselor and stuff like that. Oh, they're you know she done called them before they got home. How stupid can you be? They're going to put the fear of life in those kids before they take them up there to the school. Well, that's why I'm saying CPS has already notified them. We know that's why. They went last weekend. I believe it was last weekend. I hope I'm telling you the truth on the date. I'll just say last weekend about-ish. Yeah. They went and spent $200 on cleaning supplies up at the dollar store. $200 in cleaning supplies. That sounds weird. Uh, yeah, that's because they do CPS got called on them. And or maybe there was a body they were trying to cover up. That too, because I don't know. But I mean, I know they have five of the cleaning dogs. supplies. What kind? Because you can make dope with cleaning supplies. Well, she um, at the dollar store. I know them all up there. One girl, it, she's pretty cool. She said that uh, it was over two hundred dollars in cleaning supplies. Wow. It's gonna get messy just as fast as it got that way. But with See, the, that's the problem. They don't still, need to call. They just need to make a trip out there. And he still, just I wish I wish you guys, you know, you know, whatever happens with those people, I wish you guys didn't have to deal with that. And and again, I feel really fortunate that I have two kick ass neighbors that I don't have to deal with any kind of if I could afford to buy the property up, I would in a heartbeat. But I can't yeah. right now. I can't. But oh believe, fuck! Oh fuck! You all right? I'm, oh yeah, I'm fine. I just spilled shit. We just all hollered, y'all. Oh fuck with you and make it better. <laughs> but no, what they do though that pisses me off is, has, is if you call to make a complaint, then they're calling them, telling them we're going to be out on this date at this time to inspect because we got a complaint. Yeah. yeah. So that's they, 
and they already knew it. Yeah, they don't care. You know, a lot of those kids they take <laughs> away from people are trafficked through the CPS. Yep. I can't believe how screwed up everything is. But got. I'm gonna. But Han Solo, yeah, because I think a bunch of us neighbors are gonna be starting to make phone calls to news stations on um, uh, intervention. Yeah. Tell me, <laughs> come out here and film this shit. Come in my backyard and film it. People, people have degraded so much. Yep. I swear, in my in my eyes, I I, I can't even comprehend a lot of it. I, I really can't. I really can't. And there's some nights. Well, I've had to end a show or two in the past because they've either been over there doing something that I have to go out and attend to or something. Because I don't let Andy go out by himself. Usually, I'm out there with him. No, you don't want him to do that. Well, I mean, he has to throw the... I mean, when he's out there asking them, please stop throwing the garbage, he's asked them. He's asked them to pick up their garbage, not to do this. Andy has been patient for seven years with him where he's about patient out. Yeah, yeah but I can, I can relate with him. And, and I'm one of those guys just like him that there's going to come a point where you're going to go. Yeah. And, and it's really been pushing him his buttons with them breaking our fence now and putting the stuff over here. He said, they're going to try to take whatever property they can say they've been taking care of it and take it away. I said, the hell they will. Hell you they need will. to get a petition up around there. If we're everybody knows what they're, they're doing. doing. You know, we know what sucks so crystal, crystal, you know what sucks about that? You said you need to get a petition like a, like a giant uh, privacy fence or something. Why should you have to do that? You shouldn't have to do that. You don't have to do that. got to do something. I, I'm sorry, excuse me. F the parents. I could care less about the damn parents over they there. They should but have I to care go. about those kids. The whole, bunch, the whole bunch should have to go somewhere else. Yep. You know what I mean? Because you look at Cosmo and Fishmania, and they're nice people. They got a nice place, and they got to deal with this. Freaking riffraff over here all the time, and 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 the riffraff should have to go away. Well, let's get yeah, like that this. causes anxiety, man. Well, it does, but their septic tank and lines are in the front yard. They were got in trouble in 2018 for driving their heavy truck equipment over the leach beds and stuff. The park right, 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 right. So now they built a gravel driveway across the yard. Where the tank Man. shit is. I'm sorry, but done it. Jeremy, that looks so awesome. Oh, that I'm plane looks so I've been good. watching him do it as we've been yeah. talking. Yeah, I'm watching him too. I, I just yeah. want to give him credit, but that looks yeah, bad. Really good job. Hold on one second. I'm trying to get all the tape off of it. I had to. Yes, it sounds like kind of like Jeremy's crazy ass. Hey, let's, let's brighten it up a little bit. Let's tell a joke or something. Tell, tell. a joke. And Meemaw's telling you it's an everyday thing. Oh, yeah, because she'll call and ask me what they did today. <laughs> <laughs> what they do today? I was fired up the other night. I, was, I think I probably would have whooped somebody's butt. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I, I hate that you have to go through that. I, I really, really, truly do. I think a lot of it's on purpose to see how far they can push Andy's and I, my buttons. I really do. Uh -huh. it's, Seven years of having stuff thrown in your yard from shit, diapers, and you don't bother nobody. You know, I've it's been that long seven years. Really? They've been there seven years. I've had to put up with this for seven years. Different, shit man, that's time. good, Jeremy. Jeremy, that looks Look at that. I ain't there because I would not mean to and go up all my bipolar would. I'd grab, yeah, but you can, you up can go up there and, and let, let them the call the cops when you got the kids. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you could go over there and cuss those people out. And they're not stable. You don't know what they're going to do. And cussing them out ain't going to do any good. It's going to cause more. You know, there's got to be a better solution summit. But they need to go. Well, I'm going to the township meeting for our township when they have their two. Um, it's on a, a first and third Monday or so. I can't remember when. But we're going up there when they have the open floor night. I'm going to stand up and tell them. I have called zoning about the fence that looks horrible. I've called zoning about the stuff piled up against my fence and they broke my fence. And the man never came out. I'm going to ask them, 
So who oversees the zoning guy on the township trustees? Because somebody needs to get their job lined out and get this, get this going, or I'm going to have to go to the county level. If that don't work, then I'll go to the state level. Shoot, I would let all of it out about the kids and everything. Meemaw knows. I yes. we, how many, we were on the phone two hours last week just making phone calls all over from state level to local level to county level. And I've asked for intervention to help, and they won't do anything. Yep. So I'm going to have to now really start. And I told her, watch the local news and get bail money ready. I hate the way that law and order... It's just gone the way of the dodo. You know what I mean? It's it, it's just gone away. Well, Long especially on. when you have two officers that show up. One is a dog warden. And then she had to call the sheriff for backup because the guy was being a jerk over there, threatening her and telling her this stuff. They see these this stuff in this yard. They see how it is, but they're not going back and reporting what they're supposed to either. They're turning a blind eye. There's so many blonde, but the property is listed as a nuisance property through the sheriff's department. That's that's actually quite scary to me. Quite scary. It's, oh yeah, they have been. They one night they had a fire. They were burning TVs. Damn. Oh oh yeah, damn is right. They had TVs. They had couches. They had. Um, I don't know. Oh, we, they had so much stuff that you're not supposed to. And the, I was in my greenhouse and the fumes started coming through the greenhouse and I was batting my eyes. I'm like, what the fuck is all this? Uh, something's poison. And I'm thinking I didn't do anything in here. I stepped out and they had that burning in the backyard and that smoke and stuff was just rolling and it was sucking into the greenhouse. And it had me, I couldn't see or anything. They were probably burning old TVs for fun and those old TVs were mostly plastic and plastic burned with black smoke. It was bad. Toxic as hell. Yes. Yeah. It was burning my eyes when by the time it, it with my I guess my my one fan was bringing in my air and I have another one that exits the air. And when it was it must have been Coming in for my mouth, I was like, like, what the hell is this? And it was just my eyes. I will, Hans. I'm going to see who's up. Yep. For that, too, up here. I'm just tired. I mean, I'm even thinking about going to the prosecutor, even though I don't, you know, I don't have a lawyer. I ain't got the money to spend on to fight this. But I'm going to take this stuff down to the prosecutor as soon as I get the rest of it. There I are certain lawyers that would take your case. High-end lawyers that would take your case. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, and you wouldn't have to worry about any damn thing because it's such, those kids. it's such a good case. You know what I mean? And that, and that puts them, it makes them on a higher. Well, like Thanks. I said, when I go to the township meeting, I already told me Mall to watch the our local news to see crazy lady at township was arrested for running her mouth because I'll get, I'll probably. But, and would be my first rodeo with the news. <laughs> at the end of the day, you guys are the good guys. You know what I mean? You've it got neighbors. You got neighbors that heart. are just a nightmare. My and heart breaks when I see those kids out there. Exactly. There's there's, th 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 there's two of them that really pull the heart chain on me, and it's about a three or four year old little blonde girl, and she is with. Um, they're the one, the little boy they had together. He's about two, two and a half. Those two are together, and she acts like a little mother hen with him, watching him, making sure he's not doing stuff, and she's not enjoying being a little girl at all. Mm -hmm. And I can sit there, and the tears will just flow outside. Now, I will say that's when I do have tissues. I'm not, you know. But it bothers me because I just want to reach over and say, come over here. You guys play. You play. Go yep. off the, you know, I'll watch him. You play. And that's how it makes you feel. And here she is trying to learn how to be the mama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That she, you can hear her talking to him. And it just, it's so innocent that them two don't really know what's going on. That it just breaks my heart to know what they're in. They could be very good kids, too. Because they could become very good people. You know what I mean? 
but they won't if they stay where they are. The problem yeah. is, is when you do have somebody come in and step in, just pray that those kids get placed somewhere where they are treated better than they were. Oh, yeah. Well, they because be in a situation where they're not going to be treated. Well, They'll be worse. Yeah, but right now, those kids right now, each and every one of them mm -hmm. are in a survival mode. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. It's a survival mode. They're in a survival mode. They don't have time to be a child. They don't have time to it's, go off and run and play. Exactly. They have to worry about what's going to get me, A, what's going to get me, B, how am I going to sleep, C, what am I going to get to eat, B, am I going to be safe when I sleep or eat, you know, uh, when am I going to eat, you know. They're in survival mode, each and every mm -hmm. one of them, especially when they turn – 16 and get put into a garage that's yep. absolutely sur survival mode that's fucking survival of the fittest mode right there but they do it they i mean it, the, like i said i've seen it and then we've seen them do it since they lived there with with their own kids his own son had to live out in the garage then his daughter when she got the age, she had to live out in the garage as soon as the day she graduated, she left and she hasn't, she's only been back maybe three times over here in the past two years. That's it. She left. Good for her. They don't really come back around. The only one that comes back around is his son because his son works for him doing the cutting the wood and doing all that stuff when they go do their jobs. God. The thing that, the thing that scares me about the foster uh, parent program <clears throat> Or I think there's more people that are in it for the wrong reasons than they are for the right reasons, as far as the parents go. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, oh, yeah, how, scary, how scary would it be to be an orphan and you're in the state's possession? I mean, it'd be one thing to, to be put with uh, some parents that really looks good, Jeremy, you and and you know adopt you and and. and but yes, good. What about all those other parents that are in it for the wrong fucking reason? Yep. I think there's, I, I suspect people that sign up to be a foster parent, uh, I think, of course, there's some that are, that are virtuous and they have integrity. But I think there, I, I want to say the most of them. I don't the know what they're of them. I mean, I, I, like I said, I knew a guy that that I worked with that he fostered like Vietnamese kids coming over, and it was all about the money for him. Yeah, you know, that, that's what it was. No it's emotions. The, no like emotions. The money, God, and then it's like, yeah, I'm making this, and I'm doing that, and I'm doing, you know, you don't care about them damn kids, man. It's like you know? they went and bought new equipment this year out of nowhere with and me and, and my husband was looking at each other like there's more to this story than meets the eye of what's going on over there because they bought two, doing? they bought two brand new they bought um one of the the, the trucks that you when you chip the wood at a job it goes in the bigger you know i don't know exact terminology but i know truck. what you're talking about it's open in the back Mm -hmm. Then they got the they bought a brand new chipper, a brand new truck for that, which they already had trucks for that. But he, I don't know what he's doing. Then they bought another uh, flatbed dump truck. Then they bought a dump trailer. They've got the Bobcat, and I told my husband, I said, I know what they're doing. I said because first of all, when they kept getting all that stimulus money, three hundred for each kid. Okay, so you get that money. Then, you know, the family money. And then you get, you know, I, you just add it up and you could tell. Yep. You just know. Because I know that that wood business he's got is, he's not, he just, and he bought the property. He rented it for six years and then finally bought it last year. And it was hush hush till we found out. And yep. So, I mean, it is just. They take in six, use two for expenses and then pocket the other four. And then that's exactly what I'm thinking between getting tax refunds and getting extra help because they've got so many they're claiming and this and that. Uh, she'll take them to the store. They'll be filthy, no shoes on. They tell them, and I know this because I've seen it. And then she'll go in there and she'll 
whip out her, she gets a uh, food card. EBT. But yeah, they're buying new trucks, Brian. I, I, they know how to do the loopholes in the system. But yep. the thing is, the thing is, too, is I've known families who are really sincere who take in foster children yep. and do the right thing. Right. They do, they do the right thing. But I think the percentage of them are, are very minute, know, I think. They're okay. small. Yeah. Where the other ones are trying to get an angle on, you know, how can I get the money? I'll take, yeah, screw it. I'll take this kid from They Vietnam. have no emotions tied to it. And they don't have, they took them out of school when in 2020 when all the crap, when they closed the schools, did homeschooling. Well, they do, they kept, they decided that they're going to do all homeschooling through a different schooling thing. A Christ, it's supposed to be a Christian homeschooling classes but i'll tell you what by nine o'clock in the morning these kids are out all day long during school hours everything else they're not i don't know they're not learning anything i don't know how they're getting yeah but but i, I still want to stand up for the the families that are doing the right thing and, the right, and, and the legit the, families that they make you know, sure they're that they're all good are good foster, you know yep you know maybe but, they but, don't want to send their kids to school because it's getting noticed and if they keep them at home, they ain't got them at school to say anything. Well, what they do, too, is they'll leave, and they'll leave, like, a 10- or 11-year-old in charge of all these stair steps down. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I hate thinking about it. It I is really do. rough. I mean, I raised three of my kids by myself, and I'm not trying to brag about that or anything else. But I know what it's like <clears throat> to be the single dad, you know, and, and, and to do what's right for your kids. But you're um, a stand-up guy because most guys won't stand up and do that. And I didn't, I didn't, you know, I don't want any credit for that or anything. It's not like that. It's not like that. Um, when I used to, you know, somebody would say, you're babysitting your kids. I'm like, well, I'm not babysitting my kids. I'm watching my kids, man. These are my kids, you know. Yeah. <laughs> to, it's not like there should be any credit or anything else. I'm the dad, you know. It's not like <coughs> you know what I mean, man. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. This lady knows what you mean. <laughs> lady, look, lady. <laughs> <laughs> look at him over there getting some detail now with the brush. You go, Jeremy. Yeah, and he, he's killing. He's killing that P forty seven. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Well, but I don't want to be a party pooper to anybody, but I've been on here two hours. I'm getting a little tired. No, you're fine, sweet. I was actually yeah. trying to say the same thing myself. Look, lady, you can't go nowhere. Well, I, I'm hoping that I wasn't too loud that he ain't been awake the whole time on the other end. I'm hoping that I kind of kept it down enough to where I ain't kept him awake. Yeah, I hear you there. I don't have to worry about that anymore right now. Yeah, he don't feel good, so... Yeah, because that's well, why I, I just think I just think that, that love you, Crystal. Thank you for hopping up, babe. You know that 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 there are certain things you can do or not do to help you sleep at night, and I can sleep at night. You know what I mean? Um, um, as far as children go, you gotta take care of your kids. Yeah, yep. you gotta you gotta you know. Didn't doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman or or, or what, you know. It, it um, you have to do what's right. And, right. And, and 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 again, it's not like you you have no idea. Hi, I mean, everybody, I love y'all. Good night, all right, Crystal. All right, good night, Crystal. You have no idea. I mean, people have been come to me and been like, "Oh, you're such a good dad. You're such a good, you know, because you raise your kids and you're." Man, I just did what I was supposed to do, man. It, it, what's the difference between me and the mom? Right. You know, the mom the mom left, but I still had these kids. And, and you know, so that's, you do what you got to, you do what you do. Man. Exactly. You know, there's no extra credit because you're a man or, or, or any of that shit, man. It's not, you just, does that make sense? I know what you're saying. I get it. Yes. I get it. I get you. Yeah. Yep. Do what you gotta do, man. I mean, fuck it. It's not you don't get any extra. Oh, you're such a good dad. No, I'm not. I'm just 
I'm just a parent and I'm taking care of my kids. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Why would a woman get any more credit to do what I've done? You know, but as a man, well, you you know, that's bullshit. Right, well, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. What'd you, you say, do? Jeremy? I said I will talk to you later. I know you're trying to get off. I know. I know you're trying to get off and go see Andy's. Well, I appreciate you coming up here. I, I've been been enjoying watching you work on that as we all chit chat together. Well, I figured instead of just looking at my mug, you guys could see some. You know, watch some artwork. You know, and whatnot. I love it, Jeremy. I yes. love it. Well, watch, thank watch. you for being here, sir, Jeremy. You know, watch me put, you know, do some artwork and some airbrushing and detailing and stuff. Yeah, well, next time we want to see the mug. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You have some laughs, man. Oh, oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. No but doubt. this ain't been a bad story. We've been all over the place tonight, which is good because it's nightly emotions we have. Nightly emotions. Oh, Cosmo cats. <laughs> Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you guys. Be sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we're all going live. But with that, and God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. But with that being to be said, the only thing left I have to say is bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Yorga, baby. I'll see you around. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. It's good hanging out with you. Hey, I good hanging out know. with you. I love you too, baby. Y'all okay. go, baby. All right. You take it easy. <laughs> All right, hon. Bye-bye. Have a good one. So, everybody else out there, good night. Thank you for hopping on the crazy train. Didn't know which way we were going, but we've been all over these tracks tonight. So, so had a couple derailments, and that's fine, too. So, all right, guys. We'll be back soon. Um, you all are welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it, and we'll be on the Bling channel this week, too, so keep your eyes over on my Bling channel. Otherwise, good night. See you all soon. Y'all behave now, you hear? Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. I, I'm crazy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>